where do all of these sentiments come from? They want to express, you know, some sort of eternal dance, an eternal night, eternal love. Why? Do we think, oh, that's just a uh, sentiment? No, it's the real innate sentiment of the soul. It's what the soul is hankering for, the eternal night, the eternal love, the eternal dance. It's the rasa dance. So when Krishna, he gets this inspiration to enjoy in a particular way, the Yoga Maya and Baladev, they're casting and scripting Krishna Leela. Casting means selecting who will participate in these pastimes. So he's saying when Yoga Maya and Baladev uh, getting the indication that Krishna is to enjoy in this way, they round up these gopis and they say, these are qualified to participate now. The, this one, maybe next time. This one, a little bit longer. Saying just like, and we've done it with either mangoes or other fruits. You put them in uh, a, a place where they can get heat and light and uh, achieve maturity or fully ripen. So what is the equivalent of that? The parallel is separation, the fire, the heat of separation. So some cannot go. We're told everything is significant. So it says, Krishna sounds his flute, they start going. Some, we're told, they're going so fast, half-dressed, one earring, things on the wrong side, they're running to Krishna. You can imagine, if after millions of lifetimes and pursuing Krishna consciousness, you get this call, to, this is going to be your first encounter with Krishna, you might be a little uh, besides yourself. <laughs> so anyway, they're going, but then we're told, and some, they're pulling babies off their breasts, the ovens are burning, their husbands and fathers are trying to stop, but some are stopped. That's also hard to accommodate. You mean after millions and millions of lifetimes, finally the call comes for this type of seva, and you can't go? So what does that do to them? That puts them into a deep condition of separation. It generates the fire and heat of separation. And it's the arrangement of yoga maya because they, for some reason, they weren't 100% qualified at that point. So by getting the call and not being able to go, the fire and heat of separation will bring them to the mature condition, and they'll go at another time. So the heart will be drawn into that plane by affection's force. Shri Krishna Karshini Chasa. This whole big buildup in the Bhagavatam to the Rasa Leela, and no sooner does it begin than it stops. Why? It's just starting, and then Krishna is gone, searching for Radharani. Everything stops. And then you would think, if you know something about Gaudiya ontology, then you could say, oh wait, later we hear one Krishna for every two gopis, or feeling that one Krishna for every go through Prakash, Vilas, expansions. Why didn't he just expand himself for everybody and then go run after Radharani? He could do that too, but that's not what he does. Right? They're plunged into an ocean of separation. How heartbreaking. You've made it to the Rasa Leela and now it stopped before it started. It starts and Krishna's gone. Is, th is that some kind of a trick or cruel thing to do? Maybe in some instances, after millions and millions of lifetimes, millions of creations, they made it to that point and Krishna vanishes. What kind of Lord are we? searching for. This is the mystery of Krishna consciousness. It's the mystery of the pastimes of Krishna. It's the mystery of Krishna culture. Is that the greatest substance of Krishna consciousness will be mind and separation. When someone's before you, you see them, they're not so much in your heart and mind. Right? You're looking at their form, seeing, but in their absence, 
they're fully present in your heart and mind. And what Srila Guru Maharaj coined the original phrase, union and separation. In separation, there can also be union. If what makes Krishna happy, breaking my heart, then that's my happiness. So how will we understand what is spiritual? Kaviraj Goswami says, Bahye Bishajalahoy, Bitore Anandamoy, Krishna Premar, Adbhuta Charit. The Adbhuta Charit, or astonishingly wonderful characteristic of Krishna Prem, is that externally it appears like one is suffering like in anything, while internally they're relishing some sort of ecstatic joy. Vishwanath says, Krishna is saying, if at that time, when they're at the, the depths of separation, the peak of that longing and hankering, if I then appear, then we'll have a rasa lila. That's what he's thinking.